I would love to show you our tree and some of our special ornaments. So let's take you to the tree. Good morning, friendly friends. Well, it's still snowing out this morning. I'm out in the porch. It's chilly out here, but I am not going outside because it's that cold and I love the cold. So that tells you something. Wasn't that beautiful? Well, today I've got a lot going on. I have to start getting ready for my trip out west. That's what it looks like. That's at our front steps. And there's our car. And it's a snow day for everybody. No one has school today. So Tyler, are you excited that it's a snow day today? Mm-hmm. Do you have any plans? Well, Christmas plans, I will say. That's wonderful. So if you watch our vlogs, you might have noticed that we wear pajamas a lot. And like, well, I, I, can't, I, don't, I almost started comparing myself to Mr. Rogers. He is an idol of mine. I only wish I was like one one hundredth of the person that he was, but I digress. But like Mr. Rogers, we like to change our clothes when we get home because we want to have that day away from us and we want to have what makes us happy and comfortable on our person and so on our bodies. So we own a lot of pajamas and this is my new Minnie Mouse Christmas pajamas. They're so cute. I'm just talking about pajamas because that's me. 90 Christmas cards are going out this year. So I just want to make sure I get everybody. We have here. I have a system. You hear that? It's the kids sing the Boy Express. Capture her heart. So I literally have to write Christmas cards when I hear this song. Listen. I just need to always hear this song when I'm addressing Christmas cards. Do you like my hair? This is what it looks like after I wash it. It's all frizzy and fabulous before I straighten it. Anywho, I would love to show you our tree and some of our special ornaments. So let's take you to the tree. Now we used to get, for almost 20 years, we used to get a real tree. And since we have kind of a smaller space for a tree, we decided to go artificial. And then that meant that we started to get, that we kept rather, and put up mostly just sentimental ornaments. So a good chunk of these are quite sentimental. There are gifts or first Christmas ornaments. Like, let me start explaining. Like this is from 2002. This was a Christmas card photo of the children, but I also put them on the back of this ornament and gave them as presents because in 2002 we were very young and didn't have a whole lot of money for presents for family members. This ornament is really special because it's Luke's first Christmas, our precious puppy, our first family pet. And there are just so many that tell these types of stories that this is Taya's first Christmas. And then we just have lots of cute sentimental ornaments. The Holy Family always has to be front and center. That's very important to us. 
This Christmas spectacular ornament is kind of fun because Tyler and his grandmother and the choir at church got to perform before the Christmas spectacular began. So this ornament is a little extra fun because of that. Of course, Mario, because Taya loves Mario. There are lots of character ornaments on our tree from all the phases the children have gone through, but love to revisit when we decorate. There's the famous leg lamp from a Christmas story. I really love this ornament. Let me just see if I can get it into focus. For you, that one's really, really pretty. And of course, this gorgeous or ornament of Dustin from Stranger Things. I wouldn't call him sentimental. I would just call that a lot of fun and a fun Christmas present. Our angel of 22 years broke last year beyond repair. And so this is our brand new angel. Uh, we love her very much. She really fits in with our tree and Tim picked her out. Ooh, I really, really love this ornament because it, my brother did this. He used to blow glass. This is very, very special to me because my best friend, Rue, made this for me. I mean, who doesn't love macaroni ornaments on their tree? That's what it's all about. This is an Olaf ornament that our friend's mother made as party favors at a birthday party. It's so cute, we always put it up. This ornament is important to me because it belonged to my mother's mother, my nanny. Gotta have some Disney, Disney must represent, so the lovely Cinderella is here. And this ornament here, is my first ornament. So those are just some of the ones that mean a lot to us from over the years. Like Tyler's first ornament. What are some of your favorite Christmas traditions and memories? Well, for me, it'll have to be singing Christmas carols and going to Julie's uh, Sing Fling, which is a Christmas sing-along party at her house. That's what I like to do. Um, one of my favorite Christmas traditions is watching um, Christmas-themed cartoon episodes, starting with the SpongeBob episode. And one of my favorites is crap out reading uh, Twas the Night Before Christmas, or A Visit from St. Nicholas. And. I like opening all the presents, too, because I love figuring out what's inside. I'm a detective. <laughs> and I love when, when we do our gigs around this time of year, we usually include a few Christmas songs in our set lists. All right. And I'm opening my gift. Ooh. Oh, it looks great, buddy. Thanks. All right. It's the Hulk. <laughs> That's very nice. It's so cute. So cute. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. My hero doing the worst job there is when you have to deal with snow. He's my rock star. When you come into our home, this is what you see. In this house, we let it go because Hakuna Matata and the bare necessities will always be our guide to infinity and beyond. All it takes is faith, trust, and a little bit of pixie dust. While we just keep swimming, we whistle while we work, 
We believe in happy endings and know that life is always better under the sea because in this house we do Disney. I just wanted to close out the vlog. Thank you for sticking with this kind of random day of getting stuff done. I have editing to do and just it's not a terribly exciting day. But tomorrow's vlog is going to be so fun because we have a challenge. So get ready for some laughs. Tune in tomorrow. Please hit like, subscribe, tell your friends. And just thank you so much for watching. You guys are the literal best. All right, peace and smiles. Take care. Bye.